coming out today on potential suspects involved in the case or where she could be. Good morning, everybody. I'm Gordon Ramsey. I'm the Wichita Police Chief. And uh, I'm here to provide an update on the Baby Sophia case. Uh, just a little background. You may remember that uh, on Thursday at 215 North Brunswick, we had a homicide in which a baby was uh, taken from the scene. Uh, staff has been working tirelessly on this case around the clock, and we've had uh, substantial resources on this case, as well as tremendous assistance from uh, the FBI. Uh, so the update is essentially that uh, es investigators established probable cause that uh, a suspect abducted baby Sophia and fled to uh, Dallas. Dallas police and FBI there aided in this investigation as well. And around 4.30 this morning, a search warrant was executed at a residence in Dallas. Uh, two adults were taken into custody and are currently being interviewed. And uh, the infant, uh, baby Sophia Gonzalez, was recovered alive and is healthy at that residence. Uh, our investigators have traveled to Dallas there and are currently uh, actively investigating uh, the situation there and uh, conducting interviews. They, uh, you know, I, I have to say that um, this was really a team effort on the part of uh, Wichita Police and the FBI. The FBI has provided significant resources to this case, which uh, really aided in, in breaking this open. So uh, I can't thank them enough. You know, I also have to thank uh, the Dallas Police Department who helped us with this, dropped everything uh, early this morning to, to help us with this and uh, execute that search warrant, uh, as well as the Cedric County District Attorney who also, uh, along with his staff, worked tirelessly on this case. Um, so baby Sophia is currently in protective custody, is doing well. Um, family has been notified, and we are working to reunite them as soon as possible. Um, you know, we appreciate the community patience and support throughout this incident. It obviously was uh, on everybody's mind. You know, the, the thoughts and prayers for the family was very much appreciated, uh, as well as the support of our investigation and our efforts. Uh, you know, we can't forget that, you know, uh, that this obviously is the best possible outcome to a very sad case. And, um, you know, the death of Laura Abaraka will be uh, uh, on all of our minds and in our hearts uh, throughout the coming days. Uh, I have reached out to the family and plan on speaking with them shortly as well, but they are aware that uh, their, their uh, baby has been located and is safe. So this is uh, still a very much an active investigation. I know there will be a lot of questions. Uh, we are limited because, uh, you know, we want to provide timely information to the community and, and the media so they get the information out, but we, we are limited in what we can say. Um, so I will take a few questions and answer what I can, but keep in mind that I'm limited in what I can say. What can you tell us about the in connection between the suspects and uh, the family, Sophia's family? Uh, can't say much, only that they, they, were, uh, they knew each other. Yeah, not at this time. Yeah. Are you looking uh, for any more? No, go ahead. Stand. Are you looking for any more suspects, or do you consider all those involved in the abduction to be in custody? It's too early to say. So when I say this is still active, I mean, keep in mind, we just, that search warrant was conducted, conducted merely hours ago. And uh, this is a complicated case, and we want to make sure we get it right. And part of getting it right is making sure we don't release information prematurely or release anything that can harm the case. This is an important case that, that uh, you know, as chief, I want to make sure I don't say something that can harm the case or put, put anything in jeopardy. Can you tell us if it was tips that led to the uh, development of probable cause, or was it just police investigating? A little bit of everything. A um, little bit of everything. I will tell you that uh, um, hard work uh, and, uh, you know, the, the collaboration with the FBI uh, is really, I think, what, what made this come about. Can you elaborate on 
if we believe that uh, the mother, Laura, was killed specifically for the baby? Not at this time. We're not sure. So we do, is there anything you can say on the reasons, maybe, or motivation behind him taking the baby? Yeah, anything that I would say would be mere speculation, so I don't want to say. People may want to be curious how soon Sophia may be able to be reunited with family. Have you got any hint of a time table? We are working to coordinate that to make it happen as quickly as possible. Can you elaborate at all on the suspects, male, female? Can't, yes. But it's two suspects, and they were taken into custody at a house in Dallas, correct? Correct. Do you know if the suspect was from Dallas or from here? Or I'm not sure. Uh, we will continue to provide information, um, anything pertinent that comes out. But I appreciate, you know, I want to also thank the media for their uh, attention to this matter. Uh, you guys have been great at covering it and, and helping us get the word out. So a sincere thank you. Can you just speak quickly to, to y'all's maybe relief in, in finding Sophia and finding her safe and healthy? Well, this is obviously, you know, a seven-day or six-day-old infant uh, to have. I mean, it's, uh, it's unfathomable. And, um, you know, it was clear in the, in the work of the detectives that I could see their dedication truly came out because it, it hits close to home. It hits close to home. So the, uh, the attention given to this case because it was an infant, um, obviously it's heightened because of the sensitivity of this. I mean, it's just a tragedy. It is really a tragedy. And um, we want to do everything we can to, to bring this to justice. So the next phase is in the criminal justice, but we will keep you updated and provide information that we can, okay? Thanks again for covering this. Thank you.